our cultural relations with the two countries. I feel and strongly believe that CPAC has been a game changer in building our business relation between the two countries. And so far, billions of dollars of investment under CPAC has already been committed by Chinese companies. And as a result of that, Pakistan was able to escape massive load shedding during those years. And our industry and agriculture was able to come back into life because 20 hours power outages at that point in time, it crippled our economy. So, CPAC has been the game changer. And now is the time to build our B2B business relations. This will not only further augment CPAC's business relation between Pakistan and China. And there is huge potential what uh, Honorable Minister Azmi Gbal and Chaudhary Salik Hussain and Ambassador Nongrong has just have just said, I would not repeat that. But it is very important to understand with China being the second largest economy in the world and now one of the largest investors in Pakistan, here is an opportunity that we can really advance import from China for labor intensive industry and labor is now very expensive in China now and China is moving towards more sophisticated high-tech industry now that labor intensive industry which has been established in China if that is relocated in Pakistan by establishing special economic zones and providing special incentives. This will mean that Pakistan with its still comparatively cheaper labor can make uh, production of items which can be then re-exported to China and other countries in the region and other parts of the world. Now, this will be a win-win situation for Chinese business uh, houses and Pakistani business houses. And in agriculture, we can really cooperate in a big way. Chinese modern technology and technique in agriculture to increase your per acre yield will be very helpful for Pakistani agri-industry. And then, based on our in the, in the uh, rural areas of Pakistan, we can install agro-based industrial houses. And through that agri-production, we can convert those items into industrial items and then export to So there are huge options. I think sky is the limit. So I would like to request Minister of Planning and Minister of 
board of investment and other colleagues in this hall and who are not here but relevant to this uh, wonderful initiative that let's join hands and move forward and create women position for both chinese business and pakistani businessmen i would like to once again thank the chinese government through our uh, chinese ambassador our friend for uh, very valuable support provided to pakistan in this need of our china is at the moment one of the largest donors towards flood affected people in pakistan china had created air bridge between beijing and islamabad sending very uh, important items for uh, flood affected areas like tents and food and medical teams like We're very grateful i didn't know ambassador that from your hometown medical team is operating um, in various parts of uh, flood affected provinces of pakistan thank you very much i'd like to convey my deep sense of gratitude to your uh, hometown people and give my uh, gratitude to them and sincere thanks it's very kind of you chinese companies chinese individuals have really contributed in a big way and that shows the depth of this friendship the strength of this friendship which is uh, unmatched in fact and i think uh, as uh, the saying goes that time and tide wait for none here is an opportunity to uh, double down our efforts and connect with our chinese uh, business friends and business houses and create uh, a very enabling environment to attract chinese investments export more to china import more to pakistan have more fdis this is what is the need of the hour and i think our visit to china will be very helpful to accomplish and achieve these targets in a big way tomorrow we leave for china and i look forward to uh, my visit to uh, my great friend to china and uh, this would be my god knows 30th visit or 35th visit i don't know but i remember having visited china for the first time in 1982 you could hardly see a, a car on the roads those were the days when you could see in beijing buses and 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 bicycles and different landscape millions and millions of cars running in uh, chinese cities and uh, china producing goods and exporting all over the world 700 million people have come out of poverty line in china these are great achievements unheard of under the visionary leadership of president xi and i think uh, we need to emulate chinese model we need to learn from them and implement here in pakistan in latent spirit ladies and gentlemen i think uh, this is the time let's not waste our time because time waits for none it it moves on without any without any seconds delay let's uh, cash upon this opportunity and god willing we will be able to achieve our destination one day soon thank you very much pakistan chin dosti zindabad